You will be playing Sugar Honeycomb. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to make Squid Games Sugar Honeycomb game in Scratch 3.2. So now let's get started. First we'll add some coding in the player. So we'll take when the flag is clicked, we'll take the block forever. Inside forever we'll put if touching finish line. Then wait for 2 seconds. After waiting for 2 seconds, we'll go to variable section and we'll take set time of variable to zero. Broadcast a new message. The message will be named as Sugar Honeycomb. OK. Now we'll take when I receive Sugar Honeycomb height. We'll take the block stop other scripts in the sprite. Now we'll do coding for the finish line. When I receive Sugar Honeycomb, we'll go to looks and take height. Now we'll do the, duplicate the coding for the die screen and change it to cookie broke. When I receive sugar honeycomb height, now we'll do the coding for the base cookies. When I receive sugar honeycomb, switch costume to costume 1, the first costume, show. Set voice to squeak. Speak, you will be playing Sugar Honeycomb. When I receive Sugar Honeycomb, set timer to 40. When I receive Sugar Honeycomb again, forever, repeat until we'll take the block equals to from operators, repeat until timer equals to 0. Then we'll take the block wait 1 seconds, change timer by minus 1, that means it will decrease. After that, we'll again go to the event section and we'll take when the sprite is clicked. When the sprite is clicked, next costume, if equals to sign, we'll go to look section and we'll take if costume number equals to 4, then we'll go to the triangle delgona. When a flag is clicked, go to x0 and y0, hide. Now we'll do coding for the indicator. When I receive sugar honeycomb, switch costume to pick random 1 to 4. It will pick a random costume. If, we'll duplicate this if 4 times. So we'll get 4 if blocks like this. So we have 4 if blocks, we'll put equals to sign in all. Costume number equals to 1. Then broadcast a new message. The new message will be named Triangle Delgona. OK. If costume number equals to 2, then broadcast a new message named Umbrella Delgona. OK. When I receive if costume number equals to 3, then broadcast new message Circle Delgona. OK. If costume number equals to 4, then broadcast a new message again. Star Algona. Now we'll do coding for the triangle Algona. When I receive triangle Algona, we'll go to look section and we'll take switch costume to costume 1. Show. When the sprite is clicked, wait for 1 second. Change it to wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Next costume, if block, we'll go to operators, if equals to sign, if costume number equals to 11, then switch costume to costume 12, broadcast new message named Dan. So we'll drag this coding in the other Dalgonas like the umbrella Dalgona. So we'll drag all three of them like this. And then we we'll arrange it so it's neat and clear and we'll change it to when I receive Umbrella Delgona. 
So drag it again to the circle Lilgona for the same, all three of them. Arrange it again so it looks neat. Change it to circle Lilgona. Now we will coding for the pin from which we will cut. When the flag is clicked, hide forever. We will take the go to block, go to mouse pointer, forever it will follow the mouse pointer. When I receive sugar honeycomb, we will go to look section, show. Now we can test out a project. You will be playing red light, green light. So this is what we made till now. Green light. Red light. 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 Green light. You will be playing sugar honeycomb. So we'll cut the star like this. Okay. Do it carefully or the cookie will break and you'll be eliminated. So yes, we have cut it. So if you like the project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye. Meet you next time.